Good time to tell me about that ace up your sleeve you mentioned. Octopus loins, I'd almost forgotten! Crypto, you're a genius! Using Pox Lab, I've created a new virus that will infect and kill the Blisk. Catchy. Let's hope so. I've arranged for it to be delivered to the moon by a new courier company. Oh, what's the name? The North American Shipping Association. Anyway, everyone calls them NASA. You wouldn't believe the cost of shipping to developing galaxies. I should mention, though, there have been some... Uh, complications. Okay, I'll buy. What kind of complications? The delivery men are refusing to land without clearance from their boss. A fellow called Houston. They're just hovering there, waiting for orders. And let me guess, we're gonna give them those orders, right? Exactly. Yeah, I'm a regular rich little. Okay, let's get contagious. Wonderful. Radar overloaded again. And now I am needing to run around all over Solaris to be fixing. Thank Lenin, comm towers are still operational. If one more machine is breaking on this stupid rock, I am crawling into one compartment and never coming out. Not enough comm towers are active, Kato. The signal isn't strong enough to reach the lander. Oh, I Crypto! All of the calm towers are now operational and sending the signal. Nothing must prevent that signal from being transmitted. Nothing! Do you hear me? Crypto! Those scientists are turning off the communication towers! If all of them aren't active...
Mando. The cosmonauts are sending in anti-air... Uh, anti-space forces to eliminate the moon lander. Too much damage and it'll crash to the surface in a fiery cataclysm. Cool, yes, but we need it intact. Now get out there and whack those cobbies!
That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. That's it? What? One small step for man, one giant leap for mankind? Seven months and that's the best you could come up with? But you didn't like it? No, I didn't like it. It's crap. Where'd you find it? On a cereal box? I thought it sounded profound. Profound? You wouldn't know profound if it hit you over the head with a Camus novel. You think Merv Griffin's a deep thinker. Listen, mister, I'm getting a little tired of your lip. Oh, yeah, Commander Big Shot? What are you gonna do about it? Pull the plug on this mission, that's what. Sorry, Houston, but I can't work another second with this jackass. Get in the car. Get in the car. Moron. Puts. Thank you.